Hi, I'm Dan Greenfield, principal of Brene Source Media. We're a media consulting practice based here in Atlanta, and we focus on helping clients blend the power of new and traditional media. And I'm Nadia Bilchik, media and presentation skills trainer, professional speaker, and president of Greater Impact Communication. We are launching today a series of YouTube videos that look at how you can more effectively manage your reputation and brand in the age of YouTube. We will be presenting various case studies to evaluate the effectiveness of the, of the people who are on the YouTube tapes. Our first uh, sort of case study is Steve Ballmer, CEO of Microsoft. Let's roll the tape. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Ballmer! So in the Steve Ballmer video, there was something like 1 million hits and around 5,200 comments. And if you Google Steve Ballmer, this is what comes up second in your search. So some might say this is the kind of media exposure that people would die for. I'd say die of embarrassment, Nadia. It strikes me as just like this is the Tom Cruise performance as he did on Oprah. And I disagree. I think what it shows here is Steve Ballmer coming up in front of the entire Microsoft staff and showing incredible energy and passion and saying, look, we are a fantastic, passionate, energized company. I think it's great for the image of himself as a leader who's prepared to take a chance and make a fool of himself and great for the brand. Well, it certainly is authentic. There's no question about it. But I would say if I am advising a CEO in general whether or not to, to do this, I would advise against it. In the case of Steve Ballmer, I mean, people know Microsoft, they know Steve Ballmer, they have certain expectations about what, how Microsoft should be, how Steve Ballmer would be, and they don't take this particular performance as an indication of his sanity. But quite frankly, there are going to be cases where people are going to do things that appear authentic, and the audience has no idea who this person is, what the company stands for, and it could quite frankly, in my opinion, damage the brand. So the important thing is you need to understand who your customers are, who your clients are, and be able to determine what, what the limits of what, how authentic you should be. Well, look, your point is well taken. I mean, you never know in the age of YouTube when someone's going to slap a, you know, a handy cam in front of your face and you become a media star. I mean, look at the Bank of America employee. There he is. He's singing a Bank of America song to a U2 theme song. We get to share it, leading us all to higher standards. It gets something like half a million hits, and then there's another 800 or 8,000 responses. 800 comments. Oh, 800 comments mm -hmm. to him. So, and, and they weren't that flattering, I should add. Okay, so here's an example of a guy. Was that damaging for him? Good he probably would. I bet he wished he'd stayed home that day, to be honest with you, Nadia. I mean, in my opinion, embarrassing. And so were the comments were somewhat critical. And it didn't seem like he was joking. But I think Steve Ballmer, I think the Bank of America employee, and even Tom Cruise for that matter, the bottom line is you need to be mindful. And that is the key tip of this video. You need to be mindful of who you are, who your audience is, and knowing that at any given time, even in the safe environment of a corporate uh, offsite, you may wind up on YouTube and the results may not be to your liking. And as a result of this, we're doing workshops just to help you, your company, your brand, understand how do you leverage your presence? How do you promote yourself constructively using YouTube? So please take a look at our websites, BernaySource.com and NadiaSpeaks.com.